Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on dimensional and model analysis. In this video, we are going to find out the expression for the time period t of the pendulum by using relays method. So first, I will read what is the given problem. The time period t of a pendulum depends upon the length l of the pendulum and acceleration due to gravity g. Derive an expression for the time period. So this was the given question. In this problem we are going to use the relays method. So for that we will first write the given data. Now it is given that the time period of pendulum that is t then the length of pendulum capital L and acceleration due to gravity g. Now according to question this time period of pendulum t depends upon this length of pendulum L and acceleration due to gravity g. So we can write here t is the function of L and g. So we have to write this in this way t is equal to f of in the bracket L comma g. Now we will use here the relays method. So according to the relays method how we can write this statement. So we will write here t is equal to k into l raised to a into g raised to b. So we have to give here some powers in terms of a, b, c, d. And here k is known as the constant. So here k is constant, a and b are the arbitrarily powers. Now we will substitute dimension on both sides. So we have fundamental dimensions that is length, mass and time that is L, M and T. So we, with these fundamental dimensions we will substitute the dimensions for this. So for time period we will write here there is a capital T which is equal to K into. Now this L for length so we will keep here as it is. So L raised to A. Now what is the fundamental dimension for acceleration due to gravity? So in my first video I have shown that for the acceleration due to gravity this dimension is L into T raised to minus 2. Now we have to keep this in bracket and we will write here raised to B. Now we will simplify this. So how I can simplify this that is equal to K L raised to A. Now we will take here B to the inside that is L raised to B and T raised to minus 2B. So if I observe here L and L is getting repeated. So again I will write here K into L raised to L raised to A into L raised to B. That is L raised to A plus B into T raised to minus 2B. Now here is T. Now we have to equate the powers of fundamental dimensions. That is mass, length and time. So equating powers of m, l and t on both the sides. Now if we observe here m is not there. So we will take here the power of t. So on the left hand side what is the power of t? That is 1. So we have to write here 1 which is equal to. Now on the right hand side what is the power of t? So here power of t is minus 2b. So 1 is equal to minus 2b and that's why b is equal to minus half. Now we will compare or equate the power of L. So on the left hand side there is no L so 0 and on the right hand side it is A plus B. So 0 is equal to A plus B. So we can write here A is equal to minus B and B is minus half. That is minus into minus half that is equal to half. So now we will put this value of A and B. So here is the value of B and here is the value of A. Now we will put the value of A and B in the equation. So here is our equation. So I will give here the equation number 1. So T is equal to, now K is constant, we will write as it is L raised to A. So L raised to half into G raised to minus half. So what is the meaning of this raised to half? That means it is the square root. So we can also write in the square root. So here L raised to half and here is minus half. So minus and that means we can shift this G to the denominator. So how we can write here? T is equal to K into under root of L by G. 
so now with the experiments of this pendulum we can decide the value of k and k is equal to 2 pi so this value is achieved from the experiments so t is equal to 2 pi under root of l by g so this is the final equation